Hello, welcome to our channel, how are you? May you always be healthy and more enthusiastic, Amin. Summary of the storyline of the film this time, entitled, Thunderball. Spectre members from various countries, are gathering for a financial meeting. Number 1 killed number 9, who was caught corruption. Number 2, named Emilio Largo, conveyed his plan to hijack two atomic bombs from a Vulcan jet, then threaten America and Britain, to pay a ransom of 100 million pounds. Count Lippi and Fiona, who are members of Spectre, recruit Angelo to disguise himself as Derval, an Air Force pilot, then Derval kills the crew, and lands the plane in the shallows of the Bahamas. Largo, kills Derval then takes two atomic bombs with a device to activate the bomb, and Largo uses the Disco Volante, a yatch, to carry two atomic bombs. James Bond, is undergoing therapy at a medical clinic near a NATO airbase, by chance encounters Count Lippi, while Bond investigating Count Lippi, a suspected terrorist, finds the real Derval dead in the clinic, and Count Lippi, who was about to kill Bond, was killed by Fiona first by order number one. Bond attends an emergency meeting, which is attended by all 00 agents, then Listen Spectre via voice recording, threatens to blow up any major American or British city, if government doesn't pay the £100 million ransom within seven days. In a case document called Thunderball, Bond finds a photo of Derval with his younger sister Domino, then Bond asks M to assign him to NASA where Domino is, because Bond is suspicious, seeing Derval should be dead. At a casino in Nassau, Bond meets Largo, and learns that Domino is Largo's wife. Q provides equipment, to help with Bond's investigation, water-resistant infrared camera, also a mini-aid for underwater breathing. Bond, is assisted by CIA agent, Felix Leiter, in the investigation of the ship Largo, and Bond gets a clue, suspecting the hijacking of the atomic bomb, then the bomb was carried out underwater, after finding a door under Largo's ship. Bond returns to investigate Palmyra, where Largo lives, after receiving information from Leiter, that Paula has disappeared, and Bond is suspecting that Paula has been kidnapped by Largo's men, then Bond finds Paula killed by suicide, in one of the rooms. While escaping from Largo's men, Bond was trapped in Largo's shark pool, luckily, Bond managed to escape. Bond finds Fiona, in Paula's room, then it turns out that Bond was framed by Fiona, and captured by Largo's men. On the way to Palmyra, Bond takes advantage of the situation at the Junkanoo Parade celebration event, escaping into the crowd, but Bond is finally caught back by Fiona, because Bond's blood marks were shot in his leg, then Largo's men, when they were about to shoot Bond, hit Fiona to death. Bond, together with Leiter, find the hidden location of the hijacked jet plane, after that Bond tells Domino that Derval has been killed by Largo, but Domino is tied up by Largo after being caught, teaming up with Bond, then helped to escape by Kutse, Largo's nuclear scientist. Bond disguises himself as one of Largo's men, then follows Largo and his men, removing the atomic bomb from an underwater storage area, while in the process of moving, Largo finds Bond in disguise, and locks him in a storage area. Thanks to Bond's equipment that Q gave, Bond was finally found and rescued by Leiter with the rescue team, then Bond tells Leiter, to enlist the help of the US Navy, to intercept Largo's crew from moving the atomic bomb to Miami. There was a battle under the sea, between Largo's troops and the American Navy, assisted by Bond, and they managed to save one of the atomic bombs, while the other atomic bomb was still inside the Disco Volante. Bond, chases Largo who escapes to Disco Volante, and Bond manages to get into the ship. 
Coop say threw the key to activate the atomic bomb into the sea, so the atomic bomb could not explode. Disco Volante escapes from the attack of the Navy ship that is chasing him, then Largo makes smoke, and releases the rear of the Disco Volante, to outwit the Navy ship. Bond attacks Largo and his men, who are on the ship, when Largo corners Bond and is about to shoot him, luckily Domino manages to kill Largo first. Bond, along with Domino and Kutse, managed to escape from the Disco Volante, which exploded due to out of control. That's a summary of the storyline of the film this time, please support our channel by clicking subscribe. Thank you, see you again.